I'm in Matthew chapter 7 in the King James Bible. And I'll start at verse 13. Jesus said, Enter ye in at the straight gate, for wide is the gate, and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction, and many there be which go in thereat. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Okay, that's what it says. Now, this is an ESV, okay? Um, and by the way, the, the ESV is, for some reason, the, the, the Calvinist favorite, you know, version. And let me show you what it says in the ESV, okay? Verses 13 and 14 in Matthew 7. Enter by the narrow gate, for the gate is wide, and the way is easy that leads to destruction. And those who enter by it are many. For the gate is narrow, and the way is hard that leads to life. And those who find it are few. Now, you see that? That's heresy. Okay? Um, th that's a blatant corruption of God's word. <clears throat> because... The way is not hard that leads to life, right? This is verse 14 in Matthew 7. Let's see what it said again in the King James in verse 14. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. Okay. In the, you know, non-corrupted version, it says that... Straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And, you know, and few there be that find that it, you know, that's true because most people are trusting in their own works. They're not trusting in Jesus Christ for their salvation, okay? But the ESV says that the, uh, the way is hard that leads to life. And, you know, that, that's something different, than what this says. Okay. And. You know. If, if you look at it. The, if you look at the modern Bible versions. For any length of time. You begin to realize that they attack doctrines. Okay. They attack the deity of Christ. They attack the trinity. They, they attack salvation. To make it seem like it's a process. And in this case they make it seem like it's hard. To be saved. Um. And, you know, some of the new Bible versions, they, they remove complete verses. For example, in the NIV, uh, the second half of Mark chapter 16 is just completely gone. And, you know, the Word of God is very important. Neither God said something or He didn't, okay? And... What you see here in the ESV is different than what it says in the King James, okay? So one of them is wrong. And, you know, I can, I can do more videos exposing the ESV uh, if need be, okay? And I just want to say, you know, the... These Bible publishers, you know, the ESV is, is published by uh, Crossway, okay? And the ESV is copyrighted. And, you know, in America, um, for something to be co copyrighted, it has to be like a certain percentage different than something else for it to be considered like an original work. And so, you know, this is somewhat of a percentage different from the King James Bible, which isn't copyrighted. And when you think of all the other Bibles that are copyrighted in America, um, you know, the NIV, the ESV, the, like the, the Holman, uh, I believe the New King James is copyrighted. So they all have to be different. That for example, right, the NIV has to be a certain percentage different than the ESV, 
And they both have to be a certain percentage different than the King James. So when you have all these Bible versions, they're going to be vastly different from each other once you start paying attention. Okay? And the devil is re really subtle. Um, and most people that believe in work salvation... Are, are using a Bible in, in the English language that is not the King James Bible. Okay. Not all of them, of course, but most of them. If you were to ask them what Bible version they use, it's not the King James Bible. And, you know, these modern Bible versions really confuse people. Because like I said, they attack Bible doctrine. You know, there's some that, there's some that even attack the, the, the blood atonement of Jesus Christ. Um, so if need be, I, I can, you know, make more videos like this, showing the differences in the verses, things like that, different Bible versions. But, uh, anyways, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And remember that if you believed on the Lord Jesus Christ for your salvation, you overcame the world. And, uh, you know, you found that gate. And you found that narrow way which leadeth unto life. And fee there be that find it. John 14, 6 says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. If you believe that, my friend, you have overcome the world. Take care.